I believe, and please don't take this the wrong way, I believe many of us, or should I say many people, <clears throat> need to go through pain and suffering. And you may say to me, Kevin, why is that? I think about myself and for myself, I don't think I would have changed as much as I have without going through problems. Yes, sometimes I may cry. Sometimes I may sin. Sometimes I may be sad or whatever, but ultimately going through bad times, I think much of the time, brings out good results out of me. Am I telling you I like going through bad times? Of course not. I really dislike it. But if my heart is toward God, if I want to do what is right, I think in many cases, I may have to suffer for a bit to get better in the way that I am. You may ask God for more patience. You may ask God, look now, I think some people really want to help others. And in this ministry here, from <laughs> the people I have emailed, spoken to, or whatever, there are some people that may give you a really, really hard time. So, I think to be able to help many people, and I think certain types of people, you are going to need patience. So let's say you don't get tested in the area of patience. And let's say there is someone you want to help, but you have little patience. How are you going to help that person? I am finding, and I think this to be very, very true, the more patient and enduring you can be with a person, I think the higher chance you will be able to help that person when it pertains to God. I am so serious. But how are you going to get at that level of patience? Will God snap his fingers and bring upon you very high patience? I guess he could. But from my experiences and from my little mind, what I find is that you may have to encounter difficult situations. Yes, God may give the increase as well, yes. But I believe you will have to suffer for a while. I think many of us have to suffer to get better. I think some people are so self-absorbed. I think some people are so prideful, selfish, or whatever. So those people may have to lose almost everything they have to humble themselves. 
They may have to what? They may have to suffer to change. Myself, I went through so many problems. And one of the reasons why I am changing and choosing to change, I don't want to go through so many more problems. I want to go through less problems. Will there be some people who may not change much? Yes. But ultimately, I believe many of us need to suffer. You may be crying out to God, asking him to stop the pain or the suffering. You may be asking God for that, but that suffering may be the thing that is helping you draw near God. So if he take it away, is it possible that you will turn your back against God? I think so. I think so. So you may need cancer. You may need lupus and diabetes and gout and painful things for you to cry out to God and examine yourself. What if God gave you all riches, everything nice in life? Would you turn to God if your life was perfect? Probably not, because why would you need God? If you already have all that you have, why would you turn to God? Why would you? Now, some may, but why would you though? So through suffering, through pain, that may connect you to God better. Kevin, I am going through this. Kevin, I am going through that. Ah, ah. That may be helping you. I believe it helps me, which I don't like going through issues, but hey, <laughs> what can I say? I pray this makes sense to you. Let me stop here. God bless you.